and welcome to another video from my ebay parts repair playlist the playlist of videos where i go on ebay and purchase broken electronic items for cheap and try and fix them on camera uh, i usually also go to macari and uh, offer up as well um, what we have today is this it is a sony ericsson xperia u uh, not very popular in the united states i don't think this was even ever sold in the united states um, and this one is probably brought over from Canada or something. I'm not sure. Um, I can't really remember if this thing was sold in the U.S. or not. Um, let me let me know down in the comments if this thing was indeed sold in the U.S. Um, but what we have here is this phone. Um, it has apparently it has a touchscreen issue. That's what uh, the seller said uh, in his listing. Let me get it out of the bag here. Uh, there's some information in the bag, so I don't want that. Um, so, if you're a viewer from Asia, you'd know that this phone was all over the place. It was really cheap, and it had great features. It also had the same LED lights that the uh, the Xperia S and the ex more expensive phones had. It had the same form factor, design, build quality, everything. The only downside of this phone was it only had 4 gigs of internal memory, but you could use only two gig, 2.5 gigs of it, and there is no expansion slot. There is no expansion slot on this phone. That's right, you're stuck with 2.5 gigs. I'm not kidding. That was the only downside of this phone. So people who don't really take much photos and all didn't care, but the people who did, um, they really hated this phone. So touchscreen doesn't work apparently. Uh, battery's probably dead. We might have to flash this thing, so let's see if we can get the battery charged in the first place. The battery's dead here. Uh, micro USB. This phone is from 2013, I think. I can't remember. I'll put it up on screen. Um, it's charging. Battery is probably super dead, so we'll have to give it a few minutes. Okay, so the battery is somewhat charged now. So it's orange, so that's, I think, the wireless provider. That's not a US one, so it's probably from Canada or somewhere. Hence why this, how this phone got into the US, because this was never sold in the US. So touchscreen doesn't work. We saw the red light there. That was the notification light. Um, as mentioned, the touch. Oh, there's more lights, uh, as you can see there. Um, oh, it's turning green now. Oh, so touchscreen is not even partially dead. It's completely dead. So we're gonna, now these, whoop. wait, there's a bit of touch. There's a bit of touch. So I'm assuming this is a software issue. There's a bit of touch. If you see that, it, it happened once. Let me do that again. Can I do that again? Nope, oh, there we go. So, yeah, sometimes tapping these things <laughs> sometimes works. Um, yeah, so the battery is still 3%. We got to let it charge a bit and we'll go ahead and try and flash this thing using Sony Flash Tool. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and flash this phone. I have the phone connected here in flash mode. And we have uh, the Sony mobile flashing tool here. And I'm gonna go ahead and flash this. It's pretty simple. Um, I don't have my tripod here, so I can't do it like on camera, but I'll, I will show you once um, I'm doing it, uh, once it's already in progress. So now it's doing its thing. It's flashing the data. Uh, and after this is done, we shall go ahead and see what happens. If it still doesn't work, then me then it means it's a hardware issue and I'll take the phone apart, but we shall see. The phone is now starting up and we shall see if the touchscreen issue has been fixed. Just give it a minute here. Okay, so um, restoring it like that, reflashing it didn't do the trick. The touch is still pretty screwed up it's not working at all so i guess we'll have to take this thing apart and see what's with the touch connector and everything on the inside all right so let's go ahead and take this thing apart um <clears throat> we have a bunch of uh five point screws here uh doesn't seem to have been open in the past um oh there's a 
There's a sticky one there, we'll deal with that soon. Okay, so that's off. Um, I've never taken one of these apart in the past. This thing is removable, as I remember. You could actually inter-swap these pieces of plastic. There we go. Um, you could actually swap them out. Um, we're looking for the touch connector here. The uh, ribbon that connects to the touch. We'll still get rid of this. We can see the uh, the light assembly at the bottom. I think it's at the bottom. Was it at the top? I can't remember. Okay, so I managed to lift this off. Um, the board, I'm wondering if there's anything under there. It's gonna just snap off. Um, I didn't watch any video or anything like that. I'm just doing this as is. Okay, so. Bode is like that. Bode lifts up. There's a ribbon of some sorts under there. Let me get this and is that the touch ribbon? Possibly. Um, looks like is it a combo ribbon? I hope not. We have extra problems. I think it is a combo ribbon. Yeah. So Bode looks fine. We got the front facing. Is that the camera? No, that's a uh, that's a sensor light sensor the lights are in here i don't want to take apart that assembly um display potion now i'm not going to replace this display i do not want to uh go through all that i don't want to spend money there there are no parts for this phone anyway closer look at the board we'll have a closer look at the pins here um so the pins seem okay uh, I don't see any damage on them. Let's check the uh, the other end of it. Um, looks fine to me. Hmm. So, wait, I gotta do this off camera, have a closer look, I'll be right back. So, I was looking closer down here. I don't spot any damage, but this uh, this pin-like thing here, that intrigued me a bit. This blue shielding. Now, under this copper shielding, there's this... Uh, now, these two things, they're really crooked, but <clears throat> that doesn't seem to be a problem. I've seen that before. I'm trying to lift this off. Um, there's this connector here that um, I'm assuming is for the digitizer. <clears throat> Got a bad throat today. Um looks fine so it's a positive negative terminal doesn't see there's something in here with it what is that i mean these for some foreign object could also get in here and screw up the touch it could be simple as that this doesn't this looks like a piece of dust or something um yeah that looks okay i'm sorry i'm pretty sure the the sound sounds horrible right now because my m mouth is near the uh microphone but i apologize for that i just don't have a proper microphone um i gotta take a closer look at that all these other chips look fine this potion looks fine um these two are just out of alignment here but it doesn't seem to be a big deal i have to have a closer look at that be right back i decided to wear some gloves because uh, i'm kind of sweating up here because it's pretty warm today um i reattached all those stuff and i'm Maybe that piece of uh, fiber-like thing was in there. I don't know. That could have been the issue. I don't see, honestly see anything wrong with this phone's, uh, I mean, physically wrong with this phone's uh, digitizer assembly and the, the circuit there. I could be wrong. It, it could be something way under, like, all the circuitry and all that stuff. Maybe it's just a blown IC or something. Could be something completely like that. But I just want to reattach it here and see um, what we can do. Um... I just want to get the get that back in there. Like that. 
that. Let's do it properly, pro put it pretty firm in there. Let's uh, now plug in the battery and we'll see if anything happens. Um, I wanna, I wanna put the frame back so that the battery stays in place. Put the battery like that. So uh, that didn't fix it either. It's still um, still not um, working. And they, these gloves do work with touchscreens. I'm I just used it on this the phone I'm recording this with. So uh, it's nothing about the gloves. Uh, the battery on this phone is all over the place. It was like 19% bit ago and now it's 20 percent so the battery is pretty screwed up on this phone um doesn't seem to have fixed it so i'll have to look a bit deeper so it turns out that this big ribbon at the bottom here this is the lcd part and this is the digitizer part uh, this was glued to uh, the LCD part with some tough glue. I just used uh, the metal uh, spudger to get it out. And now it's just hanging here. I, re I also realized that you can um, separate the uh, LCD from the digitizer. They're not pasted together. The digitizer is just pasted to the frame and the LCD is just sitting there. So I can technically replace the digitizer but I'm gonna see what's wrong with it in the first place. Um, visibly, there's nothing wrong. I can't see anything wrong with it visibly, but there may be something that I can't see as well, but I'll have a closer look and be right back. So I tried messing with the uh, that small uh, transistor-like thing on the digitizer ribbon. Didn't really do anything, but I still managed to trick the phone. Like I said, it partially works sometimes. I managed to trick the swipe into the camera app, as you can see there. I can't get rid of this notification. Um, this accessory is not supported. Yeah, this uh, that's because the back is basically taken off. Uh, but yeah, the touchscreen still doesn't work. So, so as to um, not make this video unimaginably long, I'm going to stop it right here. And that is uh, it for part one. In part two, we're going to take the digitizer out and we're going to heat it to all hell with a heat gun. Um, taking it out because I don't want to damage the LCD. Um, I managed to get some on the something on the swipe here. Um, if you can let me try to replicate that again. If I really try, I can actually get it to swipe. But now since I used the camera app before, it swipes into the camera app. I, I can't do it again, but it did work. Anyway, what we're going to do in part two is basically heat this thing to all hell. But until then, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.